Hey you guys, it's Jen and we are about five days, six days, I'm really bad at math. We are less than a week away from working with people I want to punch in the throat. This book, you have got to get this book you guys. This book is so funny, I can't even tell you. Like, um, I think probably my, you know, I think whenever I do interviews and stuff, like they always ask me, what's your favorite story? And I'm always sort of like, oh, you know, I don't have a favorite. They're like children. I could never choose. Bullshit. I can choose. Um, so in this book, I think my favorite story is the one where, um, I was interviewed for a job in a plastic surgeon's office and we never actually talked about the job. Like he spent the entire interview telling me all the things on my body that he could fix and it was my nose my eyes my boobs like you name it he could fix it apparently like i should not even be seen in public because i'm hideous and i mean i don't have a hump on my back but i mean it's like everything else he he found issue with and it was pretty funny and <laughs> i mean it's funny now like at the time um, it was pretty hurtful at the time, I have to say. I was sort of like, ow, motherfucker. But um, now, you know, I can look back and I can laugh at it and say, oh, that was kind of funny that he did all that. I still don't even remember. I think I was supposed to be his office manager or something like that. We never even talked about salary. Like, we never talked about the hours I'd work. We didn't talk about salary. All we talked about were the perks. And the perks were things like, I can, I can fix your nose. I can make your lips better. Um, and... You know, I can put you under the knife just about whenever you need to go. So it was kind of crazy, and I did not take that job, surprisingly, <laughs> as you can tell from the nose. So uh, I did not take the job, and uh, but there are some jobs I did take that were pretty funny too. So I have all kinds of really funny stories in here, and I wanted to read to you today from the punch list. So I always do a punch list at the beginning of all of my um, people I want to punch in the throat books. I do kind of a little short list. And so today I'm just kind of picking some of the gems from the punch list for, from working with people I want to punch in the throat. Uh, this is the interoffice memo edition. The micromanagers who aren't even my managers. Stop it. You're not the boss of me. Literally. The know-it-alls. I get it. You're very smart. You have all the answers. Do you have the answer to this question? Why are you so fucking annoying? Mandatory lunch meetings. The only thing worse is a 5 a.m. conference call. Whoever schedules these are dicks. We took a vote. We all hate you. The person who brings tuna to the mandatory lunch meeting. Thanks for making the conference room smell like a dirty vagina. The buzzwords. Deep dive, circle jerk, corporate synergy, disrupt, pivot, thought leadership. It is all meaningless word salad. Just put a pin in these words already. The busiest people ever. I'm sorry, did I ask what you were working on? Oh, that's right. I don't care. The yuckers. I see you following the boss around, yucking it up at every single one of his jokes. He's not even funny. The reply all people, go kill yourself, please, just do that. The company-wide happy hours, I barely want to work with you. I definitely don't want to go have a beer with you. The martyrs, you get sick days, use one. Stop dragging your sniffling, snorting, coughing, sneezing ass to work and infecting the rest of us. You are not that important. The people who sit on my desk. Ew, don't put your pooper on my planner. My paycheck. Are you fucking kidding me? And the clients. They won't take your advice, but they always blame you for the shitty results. So these are just a few. And you need to pick up the book on September 12th, and you can read them all, and plus all the chapters, including the one about the plastic surgeon who wanted to fix my hideous nose. So thanks a lot, you guys. I'm also going out on tour, so please check uh, my website, peopleiwanttopunchinthethroat.com, uh, the events tab, and get your tickets. Tickets have to be purchased in advance for most of the stops. But I would love to see you guys on tour and say hey and deface your book a little bit. So thanks, guys. See you soon.